A recent shocking discovery by two Japanese astronauts has reawakened the discussion of a possible relocation of the human race to an Earth-like planet within our solar system. But what exactly is this new planet called, and what are the chances that we could one day live in this newfound world? Let's find out. The recent surge of advancements in the space industry is truly astonishing. In the last 24 months alone, we've seen a successful, daring, unnamed mission to the moon's orbit by NASA. As if that's not impressive enough, just a few weeks ago, India became the first ever country to land a robotic space explorer on the south pole of the moon. And as you may have noticed, SpaceX has attempted to launch its long-awaited Starship rocket. And while the first attempt didn't go exactly as planned, the company looks certain to get things right and successfully launch the Starship before the end of the year. With these remarkable developments, it's evident that astronomers and cosmologists are relentlessly pushing the boundaries of space exploration. And it's perhaps only a matter of time before we start seeing humans travel to Mars and other planets. Speaking of humans visiting planets, researchers Patrick Sophia Lykaka from Kinda University in Osaka and Takashi Ito from the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan in Tokyo have recently made a groundbreaking discovery in the Kuiper Belt a celestial body that could potentially become our next destination in the cosmos. Fascinatingly, this newfound celestial body shares striking similarities with our own blue planet. Leading scientists in the field propose that if this hypothetical planet indeed exists, its dimensions could range from approximately 1.5 to 3 times the size of Earth. The implications of this discovery concept are profoundly intriguing, as they cast a shadow of doubt over our methods for planet detection and challenge prevailing theories regarding the potential existence of a ninth planet. Since Pluto's reclassification from planet status to exoplanet, the ongoing discourse about the possible presence of a ninth planet within our solar system has remained fervent. Some experts contend that given the vast expanse of space and the multitude of celestial objects it encompasses, it is plausible that there are so many undiscovered planets that remain hidden from the prying eyes of astronauts and the space observatory gadgets in space and on Earth. However, for these two renowned scientists, they believe that rather than searching for Planet 9 all over the solar system, we could use that energy to explore the Kuiper Belt, a circumstellar disk in the outer solar system that is believed to house at least one Earth-like planet. For obvious reasons, this newly discovered planet is named the Kuiper Belt Planet. The optimism of scientists regarding the potential habitability of this planet resonates strongly. As a matter of fact, some experts entertain the tantalizing prospect that it could one day evolve into a feasible habitat for humanity. We predict the existence of an Earth-like planet and several trans-Neptunian objects on peculiar orbits in the outer solar system, which can serve as observationally testable signatures of the putative planet's perturbations. Patrick Sophia Lykaka and Takeshi Ito wrote, in their research paper. According to their findings, astronomers posit that this mysterious planet is located somewhere between 200 and 500 astronomical units away from the Sun. For comparison, Pluto, the famous ninth planet that was demoted to exoplanet status on August 24, 2006, is situated at around 39 astronomical units away from our Earth. In addition, close observation shows that this newfound Earth-like planet is tilted at about 30 degrees away from the Sun, while Pluto is tilted at about 119.5 degrees away from the star. In case you're wondering, the Kuiper Belt is located at an astonishing 4.5 billion kilometers away from our Earth. In other words, it's practically impossible for humans to visit the region, at least for now. So how did Patrick Sophia Lykaka and Takashi Ito make this blockbuster discovery without visiting the Kuiper Belt? Well, it's not sorcery or magic. The discovery of this mysterious Earth-sized planet and its characteristics was made possible by using computer simulations to examine the clustering patterns of the trans-Neptunian objects in the Kuiper Belt. The results of the Kuiper Belt planet scenario support the existence of a yet undiscovered planet in the far outer solar system. More detailed knowledge of the orbital structure in the distant Kuiper Belt can reveal or rule out the existence of any hypothetical planet in the outer solar system. This discovery opens up exciting prospects for further exploration and understanding of our solar system's outer reaches, challenging our existing understanding of its celestial dynamics. Beyond this project, the Kuiper Belt has become some sort of hunting ground for scientists looking for potentially habitable worlds. Notably, the Kuiper Belt shares some similarities with the main asteroid belt that's located between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. 
This donut-shaped region of icy bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune is home to several leftover celestial elements, just like the main asteroid belt. Similarly, the sheer amount of gravity produced by Neptune means that the small icy objects within the Kuiper belt cannot form a planet. Interestingly, Jupiter also does the same thing in the main asteroid belt. So in other words, based on our current understanding, both the main asteroid and the Kuiper belt are incapable of housing a planet. But of course, as we mentioned earlier, the Kuiper belt contains around 2 million small celestial objects and several dwarf planets, including Pluto, Eris, Makemik, Hame, and Ceres. Humanity's first visit to the Kuiper belt came back in 1983, when NASA's Pioneer 10 spacecraft traveled over 4.5 billion kilometers to explore this mysterious world. At the time, officials didn't make the arrangements for the spacecraft to explore the worlds within the region. So even though the mission was successful, the Pioneer spacecraft didn't visit any of the worlds within the Kuiper belt. Exactly 32 years after that historic trip, my Pioneer spacecraft, the New Horizons spacecraft, traveled to the Kuiper belt, becoming the second ever man-made object to achieve this feat. But unlike the Pioneer, the New Horizons explored several elements in the Kuiper belt, including Pluto, Charton, and even the 486,000, 958 Arakoth, which is popularly known as the Icy Space Snowman. Beyond this exciting project to discover the Kuiper Belt planet, there have been other similar projects aimed at discovering new worlds in recent times. One of such undertakings led to the discovery of Sedna, a dwarf planet with weird orbits hovering on the outskirts of our solar system. Discovered by Mike Brown and Constantin Batygin in 2016, Sedna is about half the mass of Neptune. Over time, some experts have expressed optimism that this incredible world could potentially be the elusive ninth planet that we've been searching for all these years. However, Lykaka and Ido believe that while the discovery of Sedna reveals the characteristics of other similar objects in the region with the same orbits and angles, it doesn't exactly tell the full story of the craziness going on with Kuiper Belt objects' orbits. Especially because we've encountered limitations in exploring various similar scenarios, such as an Earth-sized planet being jostled aside by one of the wandering giant planets, causing ripples through the Kuiper Belt. In most cases, these scenarios fail to account for all the peculiarities we observe in the Kuiper Belt today, from orbital resonances to the presence of oddly distant objects in tilted orbits. However, the simulation conducted by Lycaca and Ito seems comprehensive enough as it covers all the intricate dynamics within the Kuiper Belt. But in the end, proving the existence of Planet Nine goes beyond mere computer simulations. It entails a formidable challenge in studying and unveiling not only the size, but also the intricate trajectory of this hypothetical world, just as Lycaca and Ido in their recent paper. More detailed knowledge of the orbital structure in distant Kuiper Belt can reveal or rule out the existence of any hypothetical planet in the outer solar system. In conclusion, we have to give credit not only to Patrick Sophia Lycaca, Takashi Ito, Mike Brown, and Constantin Batygin, who have done some incredible work. They've charted a revolutionary course, and thanks to them, our chances of locating the elusive Planet Nine has increased significantly. 